On June 20th, 2011, three men battled for a chance to challenge John Cena for his WWE Championship. Alberto Del Rio, Rey Mysterio, CM Punk, the winner, will face John Cena for the WWE Championship. Remember, triple threat rules, first man to pick up pinfall wins. Six one nine. Mysterio, will he be number one contender at Punk? CM Punk saving it. CM Punk is number one contender. But a shot at the gold was not enough for CM Punk. Punk was determined to ignite a spark of change in the WWE. Brutal honesty I'm known for. July 17th is the day my contract with World Wrestling Entertainment comes to an end. When the clock strikes midnight, I am leaving. And I am leaving with the WWE Championship. John Cena goes one-on-one -on -one with R-Truth in a tables match. To bring about the change he so desperately desired, the best in the world set his sights on the champion. What's Punk doing out here? The number one contender and the WWE Champion going at it. And look at Truth! Truth puts Cena through a table! Punk has cost Cena the match! He don't care what he does right now, I don't think. The WWE Universe was about to learn that the most dangerous men are the ones that feel they have nothing to lose. There's one thing you're better at than I am, and that's kissing Vince McMahon's ass. Do I have everybody's attention now? The only thing that's real is me. Oops, I'm breaking the fourth wall. For almost six years, I have proved to everybody in the world that I am the best on this microphone, in that ring, and I'd like to think that maybe this company will be better after Vince McMahon's dead. If CM Punk defeats you, he's going to walk out of here. I'm going to be embarrassed. This iconic battle at Money in the Bank was CM Punk's proving ground. You beat to your own drum, but in the path of doing things you want to do, you've lost sight of everything. I am the underdog, and you are is what you hate. You're a dynasty. The stakes had never been higher. If CM Punk walks out with this championship, you're fired! This was Punk's chance to make history. Say goodbye to the WWE title and say goodbye to CM Punk. Do I have everybody's attention now? Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is set for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Introducing first, the challenger from Chicago, Illinois, weighing 222 pounds, C.M. Punk. And his opponent from West Newbury, Massachusetts, Weighing 240 pounds, he is the current WWE Champion, John Cena. And ladies and gentlemen, it's all about the WWE Championship, the holy grail of the WWE King, formed by Mr. McMahon's father, Vince Sr., back in 1963. That's right, and CM Punk wants to take it from the WWE.
this be CM Punk's ultimate moment to disgrace WWE? Will he leave the company with the 50-year legacy of the WWE title? I wouldn't doubt it for a minute, Cole. CM Punk always seems to get the job done when the pressure's on. And this hometown crowd is certainly going to do that part. You know that. Well, without a doubt, King, I just saw a sign that said, if CM Punk loses, we riot. <laughs> And there's the reversal. King, the McMahon family has been promoting fights since the early 20th century. It all started with Mr. McMahon's grandfather, Jess McMahon, who was a prominent matchmaker in both the boxing and wrestling world. And tonight, CM Punk may very well flush the near 100-year legacy down the toilet. Oh, man, without a WWE championship to promote, I don't know what Mr. McMahon would do. That title is why everybody in the locker room works so hard. They want to go. And without it, there's not much of a reason to compete. I'm afraid to say it, but I fear for WWE's future if CM Punk wins. And so much is at stake. If that happens, King, if CM Punk wins, four generations of McMahon promoters will potentially see their legacies obliterated. Well, you'd have to assume that there are plans in place for a fifth generation to make its mark on the industry. Of course, all that's in jeopardy here tonight. We've seen some pretty intense hometown crowds over the years. Shawn Michaels at the 1997 Royal Rumble immediately comes to mind. Yes. And it seems every time we're in North Carolina, people go crazy for Ric Flair. Woo! The same can be said for Stone Cold Steve Austin in Texas. And heck, the entire country of Canada always got behind Bret Hart in his day. Yeah, but you know what? None of that compares to this tonight, Cole. CM Punk has taken the Chicago crowd to a whole new level. This is insane. Punk looking for something big. Here goes Punk. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh! Wait a minute. Look at the strength and the power. What's he going to do here? Oh, my God. It looks like John Cena's going for the AA. Oh, look at this. Punk, he's out of the AA. Yeah, in a reversal. Great counter. Go over to go to sleep. GTS time. Oh, no. Cena's reversed it. He's got the STF locked in. Yeah, he's locking it in now. And now Punk is Punk going to tap. Is he going to tap? Oh, look at this. Punk is in serious trouble here. The SDF is locked in. Yeah, Punk's going to tap out, King. No, 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 oh, no, 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 look. Punk is fighting it. He is turning. He is turning Cena over. He's got, he's got it reversed into the Anaconda Vice. Mr. McMahon did say earlier, and he was dead on. John Cena brought this upon himself. Cena begged for Mr. McMahon to reinstate Punk, to put himself in this position here tonight. What? Okay. You know what? That's an argument. You can't say that John Cena brought this upon himself by doing the right thing. John Cena was doing what he thought was the right thing, and if this is the outcome, this is what happened. Then he's only got himself to blame. Sometimes when you try to play hero, it doesn't always turn out the way you expect. That's all I'm trying to say. I don't like the way this is starting to look, Cole. I'm not sure John Cena can overcome having the fate of the entire company on his shoulders. Can you imagine if he loses here to Punk? You know, we asked that same question earlier tonight on social media. More than 5,000 comments were posted in just under two hours. And all the posts can be summed up in one word. Pandemonium. Well, John Cena is the face of the company for now. He's the ultimate hero. But if he can't find a way to overcome CM Punk, I'm afraid he'll be the ultimate GOAT. This is a weird feeling. I don't know if I have ever experienced anything like this. This crowd is going nuts. Well, here in Chicago, CM Punk is called a hero. In other places, he's called a rebel, an anarchist, or simply a traitor. People have called him selfish and jealous and delusional. The one thing we do know is CM Punk has refused to sign the latest contract offer to stay with the company. At midnight tonight, CM Punk is leaving WWE, and he may be doing it with the WWE title. Well, we're going to find out. But I don't know how smart it is to say no to one of the most lucrative contracts ever put on the table by Mr. McMahon. See a punk gathering attention in a hurry. Playing my games. Yeah, a little intimidation there. Uh-oh, he's in position, ready to strike. Oh, and a GTS! It's Cena knocked completely out of the ring, King! Oh, he went outside of the ring. That's not going to help Punk. Not at all, because remember, Cena's got champion's advantage here. If Cena's counted out, 
he'll retain the championship. And Punk knows that. And Punk's got to get Cena back in the ring before Cena's counted out to have any chance at winning the title. You're right about that, but that's 240 pounds of dead weight, but he, he gets it back in. And now Punk has to try whoa, to cover whoa, 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 whoa. What? Mr. McMahon and the executive vice president of talent relations, John Laurinaitis, are out here. For what? Why are they out here? Well, I mean, this match is about Mr. McMahon's legacy. Punk has threatened to leave the company with the WWE oh. title. And look at Cena. Cena picking the leg. Look Cena going for the STF. He's got it. Hey, what? Mr. McMahon, is, I think he's calling for the bell. He's telling Cena. Cena. Just bring the bell. Blasting Laurinaitis. Oh, man. The going to win this fight. You heard Cena, King. He said he, he wants to win this the right way. Not the cheap way. Hey, man's not gonna win this fight. And Mr. McMahon, are obviously upset and disappointed. Mr. McMahon, what's he gonna do? This is awful! 